Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to perform the Levine's test for the difference between variances. And I'm going to do it in three different ways because there are basically three different types of Levine's tests, uh, only one of which is done automatically in SPSS. The other two methods, which are actually robust to uh, non-normal distributions, uh, cannot be done automatically in SPSS, but it's actually not that hard to do, that, do the calculations in SPSS uh, anyway. So I'm going to do those three different um, tests for homogeneity uh, for Levine's. One's called Levine's, uh, the other one's called the Brown Forsyth test, and the other one's called the um, non-parametric Levine's test. And I've got another presentation uh, video on HowToStats.com YouTube's channel that's called Homogeneity of Variance, where I discuss these different tests conceptually, as well as other is issues relevant to recommendations. I encourage you to check that out. So here's the actual step-by-step -step process for testing homogeneity variance in three different ways, one of which is really good and really robust. Uh, I'm going to show us first uh, the actual distributions of these data. What it is, I've got two groups, uh, zeros and ones, and I've got uh, IQ as a fictitious variable uh, with um, uh, scores. Uh, I think it's 20 in each group with IQ scores. Now these data are actually fairly non-normally distributed and we can check them out going through uh, descriptives and I've chosen the, these data purposely. Actually one of them is uh, more dis non-distributed than the other so I'm actually going to split my file first according to group. Okay. So let's check out the distributions. Uh, charts, histogram, continue, and let's look at the standard de means and standard deviation as well, or mean and variance. Hmm. All right, so here's the um, just the basic descriptives that I'm looking at, and what we've got here are uh, variance for group zero is 216. And um, that's a fairly non-normally distributed uh, distribution that I've seen. So uh, there's a positive tail. It's not really, really skewed, but it's probably about a 2.5 or something like that. I can actually check in a minute. Uh, and here's the other distribution of data, which is now not perfectly normally distributed either, but not quite as skewed as the other one. Its variance is 383. So the variance in this first group, group number one, is larger than in group number zero which is 216. So we want to test these uh, for um, variance homogeneity. And what most people do is that they'll go into compare means, they'll go into one way. You could do this in a t-test as well. Actually, I'm not uh, sure if it'll do the homogeneity of variance in t-test. I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, here we've got options and we've got homogeneity of variance test. And this is actually going to do the traditional Levine's test, which is comparing, uh, deriving absolute values from the observations and their respective mean. Again, check out that video that I've done. It's more of a lecture talking about these different uh, techniques. Ah, I forgot to um, unselect my split file because I don't want to select these by group. Or analyze all. Alright, so analyze, compare means, one way ANOVA. Let's do that again. So here we get the test of homogeneity of variances. Now, isn't that interesting? It's not quite statistically significant. And so we'd feel confident reporting our ANOVA F value, which is suggesting that there's no mean difference because it's not statistically significant and the F value is really small. Now, are these uh, variances uh, different or not? I mean, that's still the question that we want to answer. And based on the traditional test of homogeneity of variances, but Levine's statistic, 3.906, it's saying that the variances are not statistically different from each other, although it's nearly so, but it's not quite. Now, that's how you do the traditional Levine's F-test. Since Levine's published his paper first demonstrating it, there's been a couple of more uh, slight modifications to the test, one of which is to use medians instead of means upon which to calculate the absolute differences. Now, I'm going to show you very quickly how I can actually replicate this Levine's test based on the means uh, quite easily, and then I'll show us how to do it on the medians, and then I'll show us how to do it 
uh, I'll show you how to do it on the ranks, which is the non-parametric, what's called the non-parametric Levine 